Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to make this simple plant growth animation and it's a nice combination of various different modifiers. And if you enjoy this tutorial, please leave a like, it will really help my channel. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe and additionally bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. First of all, let's select everything in the default scene, press X and delete. And now let's press Shift A, add mesh, and single word, if you don't see this option here, go into the preferences, add-ons and activate extra objects add-on. You will see that option right here after you do it. So let's add single word and they will enter edit mode for us. So let's now press one on a numpad and we can extrude some curve. So let's press E, go up just a tiny bit. And now we can kind of make S curve like this. Okay, now tab out and I'll press Ctrl 2 to add the subdivision modifier and now right click, convert to and choose curve. So this will serve as our growth path for the plant and now we'll need an actual curve that will create our geometry. So what we can do is again press Shift A, mesh and single vert and now let's just press E then Z and move it up just like this. Now I'll press Ctrl R and increase the number of cuts with the mouse wheel to something like this so we have this curve divided and now we can tab out and again right click convert to curve and now in the curve settings we can go to the geometry section and increase the depth you can hold shift for small increments something like that and i'm looking at the width at the bottom and now i can tab in select the top control point let's activate the proportional editing and now let's press alt s and increase the fall off like this and let's make this smaller okay just like that and now what we can do is to go to the modifier settings and add a curve modifier here choose our first curve as a target and the form axis to z and that will map our new curve um, to the original one please be careful here um, you can see i did this in the front view so both our curves are made um, along the z-axis um, that's why this works out right out of the box if you try to go and create curves in different rotations or orientations you might get into all kind of trouble so please be careful to follow the instructions and the direction and placement of these objects as i'm creating them now this will be pretty easy to animate this along the path but the next thing we need are some leaves so let's go to the front view again and let's press shift a and we'll add another single vert and now i will tab out press g then x and move it aside so we actually see what we are doing here and now tab in press e and z and extrude something like this and again i will press ctrl r and increase with the mouse wheel to create few cuts there just like that now tab out and right click convert to curve and again this will be pretty similar increase the depth this will be a little bit smaller tab in and press alt s and adjust the proportional fall off okay should work just fine and now let's create actually some leaves so press shift a and let's add a plane now i'll press r x 90 degrees and press g then x to move it aside now tab in i'll press g then z and move it up one meter i'll press one and confirm um, this way we have the origin point at the bottom and now i can disable proportional editing scale this on x-axis press ctrl r create some loop cuts here and now just select these pairs of vertices and create some kind of leaf shape just like that Okay, now let's select this face right there, press G then Y and move it like this. So we have a curvature there. Let's press Ctrl R and create a cut in the middle here. Now select this edge right in the center and press Ctrl B to bevel it and increase the number to three. So we have that one edge in the middle there. Now we can enable auto merge here, go for vertex select by pressing one, press G twice to slide this vertex all the way up 
and this one all the way down. Now go back to the edge select by pressing 2, select this edge right there and move it on Y axis and let's select these two on the side and move them as well. So we have this nice leaf shape and optionally we can move this as well. Now tab out, press Ctrl 2 and we have some nice leaf there. Right click and shade smooth and we can do the same for our curves. We can shade them smooth. Now this one here um, deserves a little bit of a subsurface modifier so press Ctrl 1. Now let's go back to the front view and we can select this leaf, scale it down, rotate and place it on the stem here, something like that and press Alt D, rotate to the other side and place few leaves like this. Okay, so I quite like this and let's create the mesh out of it. So select everything and I'll just press right click and convert to mesh. Um, this will convert our curve to mesh. If you go into the edit mode, you can see we have a mesh there. And of course, it will apply our modifiers to our leaves. So right now we can select everything. Shift click the stem as last item here and press Ctrl J. This way we joined everything into a single mesh and we have now something like this in place. Um, I'm doing this to simplify the whole process so we don't have a multiple objects there and we don't need to care about parenting and all that stuff. And again, uh, please make sure you have this setup as I have right here. You have the original curve that will serve as our path and it starts at zero and goes up along the Z axis and it's curved. And then you have this curve geometry that has the same orientation and this one as well. And you will see why this is important right now, because if I go into the modifiers tab and add simple deform modifier and switch this to bend, um, you will see we are now able to bend this along the X axis like this. Um, if the orientation of this object would be different, um, it might be a little bit more difficult to set it up. Um, so there's always this kind of a hassle with orientations when it comes to modifiers like simple deform and curve modifiers and stuff like that. And when I build this scene, um, this is the setup that worked for me. So make sure you are following that if you want the same result. Okay, so now that we have all the objects in place, um, let me reset this to zero. Um, let's finish the scene. We'll select the stem here and let's disable the curve for a second. Let's look from the front by pressing one on the numpad. Now select this object right here, press G and move it somewhere here and we can make it larger, of course. But before we build the rest of the plant, we'll take advantage of linked animation data of course, this could be done after the fact, but it's easier when you do it before. And first of all, let's go to the output tab and set our frame rate to something like 30. And now let's go to frame 30 and our modifier tab. And let's modify the angle a little bit here to something like 40 degrees and press I to insert the keyframe there. And now go all the way back to frame one and increase the angle to something like 300. So it curls like that and now press i again here on the frame one to insert the keyframe so we have this animation here and that will help us with our growth animation overall so let's now go to frame 30 let's go for a front view by pressing one on an ampad and now we can alt d and duplicate this branch here and press r to rotate and you can see it has the same animation um, it's a linked duplicate since we used alt d so that will make everything a little bit easier. Of course, if you later need to change this animation, um, you can do it on one of the objects and then relink the animation data, but it's a little bit more advanced. So I thought we'll do this um, in this order where we first create the animation and then duplicate the branches. So let's place our last branch somewhere here. And now they're all animated and curling. Next thing, we need to do is to parent them um, to create the plant. So let's rotate here a little bit. Um, but this right here is still a curve object. This is not a mesh. So we'll need to right click convert to mesh. Um, and now we can select all these branches. 
um, select the parent object and press Ctrl P and instead of object choose vertex triangle and now if you select the parent object um, you could see the curve modifier is gone because we converted this to mesh so we'll need to add it once again so let's add the curve modifier again and again we'll choose this original curve as a parent and choose Z as a transformation axis and now you can see how these are parented um, since we used that vertex triangle method they are parented to the respective vertices on their location and they are following the deformation um, of our main object. So if we move this along the path, our branches will follow, which will be very helpful right here with this type of animation. And now this is basically all the setup we need. So let's add some animation here as well. I'll press Alt G to reset the location of our parent object. And let's go to frame 60, for example, and let's press I and insert location and scale. These are two properties I want to animate and now scrub back to frame one and first of all I want to enable recording here and press G then Z and move it down like this that will create our location and now press S and scale it down so it goes under like that and I'll create our scale keyframe so now let's disable and let's see what we have here looks quite nice um, but the curling happens before uh, the plant is scaled and of course it happens all at once so now we can separate the animation data um, on these different branches so let's select them and go to object relations make single user and choose object animation this will split the animation there are still linked objects if you edit them but the animation is separated so now you can just select them one by one and move these keyframes with G um, wherever you want them. So let's, for example, start at frame 30. So the next branch might start animating at 35, this one at 40, for example, and so on and so on. So now these will uncurl one after another, just like that. And of course, um, since there are no keyframes on these actual objects, they're just parented. The only thing um, that's animated is simple to form. We can rotate them, scale them, whatever we want, and that way adjust the shape of the plant um, as we like it. So right now I can press R and Z twice and rotate it like that so it better matches the curvature there and you know we can move this and rotate them around if this is taking too long you can always go here reduce the growth animation to 30 frames here and then you know you can select all of these at once and you will see all the keyframes there and just move them from frame one and you have faster animation and of course you can go to frame one to set the cursor there and scale them on x-axis so this only takes 30 frames to animate so I think something like 45 might look good okay of course you can do some variations so for example these at the bottom don't need to be last to uncurl so we have some variation there as well. Okay, I quite like this and I like this angle as well. So I'll use this to place a camera. So let's press Shift A and add a camera. And I'll press Ctrl Alt 0 on a numpad to place the camera on our viewport and now let's set something like 1200 times 1200 for resolution and let's add some animation to the camera as well so for example at frame 40 we want to be all the way up here so I'll press I and insert location and now let's go to frame 1 and move the camera and let's move it a little bit closer maybe like this press I and insert location so now we have 
animating camera as well. And if you need to readjust, you can always enable recording and reposition your camera on these frames. And now, of course, you can press Shift A and let's add some plane to add a background here. And we can also add some lighting so you can go to render settings, enable ambient occlusion, bloom. Let's enable material preview and I'll set some nice greenish tone for for the background and some nice green material for our leaves. You can see these are still linked. And now I'll press shift A and add a light and we can place a strong area light shining from the top of our object. And let's set something like 500 here. And of course, we'll need to enable scene lights and scene world to see the preview. And if you go to the cycle settings, you can enable GPU and the noising and I'll reduce the tiling in the performance tab and final sampling and preview this. So looks quite okay, but a little bit dull. So maybe this light needs to be a little bit stronger, just like that. And of course, we can add some world color as well to add ambience and you can play with the area lights plates around. Um, I'll probably adjust this animation or create a new one where I will play with maybe some more objects, create a pot for the plant and play some more lights around to create the reflections. Um, but this is the gist of it and the main purpose of this tutorial was this simple growth animation where you can combine the simple deform and curve modifiers and animate their properties to create and unfolding growing animation like this. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, again, please leave that like. It will really help my channel. And again, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.